Hey truck fans, welcome to another episode of This Old Truck. I'm your host Winslow Bent. Today we have a really cool 1968 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. This is one of the earlier models of this vehicle. It does have some really unique features and it has a really, really interesting history. And to explain that history, I brought the owner, Austin Dupre. Austin, welcome to the show. Hey, Winslow, good to see you again. Yeah, absolutely good to see you. So I know a little bit about your Land Cruiser, but not a ton. How did this end up in your hands? Yeah, this was my dad's old truck and he actually bought it from his college roommate who drove it up from Honduras in the late 60s. We restored it together in the late 90s and uh, since he passed away, I've kind of been uh, taking care of it and, uh, that's and amazing. it's been a lot of fun, yeah. One of the things that I love is how nonchalantly you talk about driving in 1968, 69, yeah. something 68, like that. 68, 69, it's still got the stickers going through Honduras from 69, but yeah, drove it over 2,000 miles. Imagine the adventure back in the day. No cell phones, no anything. I mean, probably, you know, manual fuel pumps and God knows what you would encounter down there. I mean, that's there. the beauty of this truck. I mean, it fires up every time. It feels like the starter is so powerful. It actually kind of rocks the, rocks the truck over <laughs> when it starts. Super reliable truck, and we've had it in about 25 years in our family. And, we just love it. It's a fun all around kind of cruise around town. Yeah. Put it in four wheel drive and you can go anywhere. Well, one of the things that I think drove the reputation of the FJ40 was its incredible reliability. It's like a tractor. I mean, it just, it just runs. It's not very powerful and it's not very fast. Slow and steady wins the race. Exactly, exactly. So I've never had trouble with it. I don't even think the engine's been cracked. Open. It doesn't look to me like it's ever been opened up. I mean, if you're looking, it's got a few new gaskets and stuff, but it, it looks and feels pretty original to me. Now, this is the early engine that came in these. This is the F engine. This was later replaced by the 2F engine, which had a much better reputation, largely because of improvements to the oiling system. You're not going to get a ton of performance difference between an F and a 2F, and it's just such a hard call. At what point do you say, oh, I'm going to get away from the original recipe and go in a, in a different direction, you know, resto mod versus versus restored. Yeah, and there's something I really like about that old kind of putt-putt sound. Absolutely. I mean, it's just nice and quiet in town. It really uh, doesn't make much of itself in terms of noise, but, you know, if you're going up a hill and you jam on the throttle, it definitely has enough power to move it around. I mean, it's a pretty light vehicle. Well, it does look like you've done some, some work on this one, a, a few improvements to increase the drivability. Um, the early Toyota Land Cruisers had manual steering and they had front drum brakes, but it does look like you went through and did a disc brake conversion to the front of the truck. Yeah, and I did put a, uh, a two inch lift on here mm -hmm. uh, just to get slightly larger tires. A few other things that are unique on the early Land Cruisers that I love would probably be this front winch. This is a power takeoff winch. So what we have going on here is the winch and then there is a drive shaft that's gonna run to the transmission. When you let the clutch out and you have your winch engaged, that is gonna start to turn and pull the cable in. Now, what are the benefits and the negatives of having a power takeoff winch? Number one, cool factor, way up there. And number two, the strength of that unit. It just seems like if it's running off the transmission, this thing is gonna be, you know, pull down a barn kind right. of kind and, of power. And because of that, extremely dangerous. And uh, So dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're not throwing cable all the time, this is the way to go. Yeah, exactly. And this vehicle for me is really riding around with the kids, a lot of fun, throw the dog in the back. But yeah. I'm not going to Moab in this thing. Sure. <laughs> well, one of the things that I really want to check out is the interior of this car. And I want to see what it's like to drive this thing. I know it has a short wheelbase. Uh, I suspect it's going to be very capable off-road, but I do want to get some on-road driving experience because I have a few reservations that this thing might be a little bit skittish. I don't know. I wanted to explore it and see what's going on. Okay, let's jump inside. Okay. Well, pretty easy to get in and out of. You know, this isn't a bad place to be. Six feet tall, got good leg room. I love the huge old steering wheel, very indicative of uh, no power steering. 
but it really adds a lot to the look of this thing. All right, we've got choke, throttle, all your basic uh, sort of accoutrement to make this thing go forward. Three-speed transmission. Here's a transfer case. And someone has made a very cool box right here. Sweet. It's got a disc changer in it. Awesome. Well, enough of this. I want to take this thing out for a drive. It's got great visibility. It's a beautiful day here at Drake's Idaho. Let's go rip it up. Great, you guys. I love to gripe about short wheelbase vehicles, you know, you're driving around town or on the highway. Yeah. When you get off road like this, particularly in working through like a little forest or whatever. Yeah. And it's like she can just sneak through anything. Well, you've got great visibility down over the hood. I mean, everything's just kind of sculpted around the engine. Yeah. So it's pretty tight. Yeah. yeah. You were saying the future of this car, you're just going to be tootling. I'm just going to maintain it exactly as it is and hopefully pass it down to the kids. Oh, that's yes. awesome. <laughs> Austin, thank you so much. Hey, we had a blast. Your so MK40 is absolutely, totally legit. It's like the ultimate gentleman's cruiser. And thank you guys. I hope to see you both soon too. Do you think the truck's pretty cool? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this episode of This Old Truck. We'll catch you guys next time.